Here's three practical ways to stop comparing yourself to others. Number one, stop looking at the people who have the things you don't have. Compare yourself to people lesser off than you. You're going to be more grateful and you're going to realise things ain't that bad. Number two, follow people on social media who look exactly like you. Same skin tone, same weight or similar weight. Then there'll be less things to compare yourself over. And finally, step number three, start displaying your achievements. You know, like in school where they have the awards in the glass cabinet, even if it's not a physical award, a physical trophy, you can write down what you achieved and you can put it in a little frame and hang it up on the wall. Put all of your achievements that you've made from birth. And anytime you feel like you're going to compare yourself to someone else, look at everything that you've achieved in this life from the day you was born. That will show you how special you are. And that will stop making you doubt and compare yourself. Hey guys. Come let's have a care date with me where I talk about how I stop comparing myself to other women. So there's a point in my life where whenever I see a girl with a conventionally better body than me, I would feel so jealous and so shit about myself. To the point I'd actually believe she was better than me. But one day I came to the realisation that the voice in my head was not mine. It was never mine. As a victim of the male gaze, I'd adopted it. I was horrified at first, but it allowed me to do some shadow work and I could finally heal my sister wound. After this, I literally stopped seeing women's competition. Okay, listen to me because I'm going to blow your mind. If you struggle with comparing yourself to other people, this video is for you. I'm about to teach you how to flip the switch. Like if you compare yourself to a lot of people, I'm going to teach you how to turn that into power. Let's say you get jealous a lot. Let's say you have a girlfriend or a guy friend that you get jealous a lot of. You get jealous of them because you think that something that they have within them is something that you can't have either. Like, let's say you're comparing yourself to their physical looks. You're saying, oh my God, this person is so beautiful. And then you just like feel bad about yourself and you're bringing yourself down amidst bringing them up. So what if you viewed your comparison and jealousy into admiration? Let me explain. So we all know that everything around us is a reflection and a projection of us. So if you see someone and you think to yourself like, oh my God, they are so beautiful. They are so attractive. They are so successful. They are so wonderful. You are seeing every single trait that you have, you are seeing it in them. If you're able to see all the good attributes and traits of somebody else, it's because that's a reflection of you. And you should be thankful for the person that you are comparing yourself to because they are a mirror of how you feel about yourself. Not to even mention that you are such a beautiful soul and you have so much light to offer into the world, okay? You are unique, you are authentic, and you have all this light and love to give out to the world. And sometimes what happens is we get so caught up in comparison that we like see everyone else's love and light within them and we forget to acknowledge the love and light we have within ourselves. So when you have moments that you are comparing yourself to people and you are maybe feeling envious or jealous, Remind yourself that all the things that you see in that other person that you are inspired by, that actually is a reflection of you and the love that you have within and your potential. And that empowers you to come back into your own self-love and step out of comparison and into self-power.